days, but thank you for letting everyone know how short I am. Folks, um, I just want to just, again, um, I think you hit the nail on the head, Spike. It is, you know, unassailable that you are sitting over there, but you're really one of us. Um, and I also just want to apologize to the audience for having to live through the coffee video because <laughs> I was just like, if that's the life of a hair, please never, please never let me have. I, and the, and the recklessness with which you just poured in the powder that made the coffee, um, oh God, and it weirdly seemed like a really, an extra small takeaway cup, like, I don't know, like, a, like the kind you get at a doctor's office, so it's just, you didn't even make yourself a full cup, is what I'm saying, um, because you're trying to save time, and, uh, and, and it's a waste you know, um, of life. It's a waste of a life, you know what I mean? Adam, I think you're great, but I think you know where you belong, okay. Um, now, I just wanna also, um, you know, I also wanna say um, that, like, you really threw power of the dog under the bus, uh, Starly, and I feel you, um, but power of the dog contains multitudes, you know what I mean? There's like every theme of life in that movie, um, is there though? But there is. <laughs> but there is. There's like love and loss and fucking braiding cowhide. I mean, what other, is it, you know, marry me and J-Lo aren't gonna give you multitudes. You know what I mean? Like power of the dog is like, a, a, the expression, you know, the expansion to the American West, uh, you know, uh, the latent homophobia. I mean, all of it was in this movie. Um, and, and a man who didn't bathe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Guys, did I give a lot of it away just now? I'm not sure. So sorry. Don't watch it, though. I know I'm just defending it, but I didn't really like it. Okay. Um, and then... See, this is what I'm talking about with the hairs. Like, this isn't even a part of the rules that she's supposed to interrupt me. You know what I mean? They just impulsively... No rules. Impulse, you know? Interrupter. Oh, does she have a microphone? That doesn't mean anything. So, I, wanted, I come to you. I, I, I look. I'm a daughter, um, a sister, a wife, a parent, a sinner, a joker, a midnight toker. Um, and in all of these varied experiences, one thing I have found to be true is the old adage: uh, "Slow is better," because. That, because it's slower than fast. Um, which is a proverb, uh, you know, probably from a Persian poet. Um, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of examples of, you know, how this adage or proverb, and those are two words, the difference of which I don't actually know. Um, the, how this proverb is true in real life. So here are some examples for you. Um, the first example are roller coasters. Uh, now, roller coasters are fast, and I think that they're horrible because uh, they make me vomit. And, um, and because I vomit, everyone suffers. So roller coasters become just a large vomitorium. Um, that everyone, and, and case in point, the Riverside County State Fair in Palm Springs, California, circa when I was in fourth grade, uh, there was a little, um, there was a ride. It was going real fast and swirling and twizzling. Um, is that a word? It was twizzling. Yeah, it's a word. Um, and uh, as a result, I vomited, and everyone within a 30-foot radius was covered with regurgitated uh, cheese corn dog and funnel cake. Uh, so everyone, everyone suffered, um, and roller coasters are a prime example of why fast is bad. Um, in fact, this graph shows that 99% of people named Nagin Farsad will vomit on a fast roller coaster. Um, and the, the numbers don't lie, you know what I mean? This is just science, so um, you have to handle the graph. Um, and what I would prefer is a slower coaster, you know, something that's just sort of quietly moving and then a slight breeze hits your face on a nice day. Um, doesn't that sound nice, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you. Um, 
Okay, so um, okay, so here's another example, um, an argument um, that is about sex havings. Um, now, when you're doing an, an, a sex sex, um, <laughs> slower is obviously better. Uh, you're all familiar with the term jackhammering, okay? <laughs> Jack, that's a jackhammer. <laughs> so. Anytime an amorous position is compared to a really fast and loud rig mounted mechanical tool used in construction, that is a bad sex havings. You know what I mean? Um, fast in sex is never uh, good. Um, let me just, here's some phrases that you'll never hear people say. Uh, the sex was so good because it was so fast. Fast sex. Fast sex is my favorite because I don't get to orgasm. You don't hear people say that. I, lo I love him. I love him so much. I hope the sex is over quickly. Guys, you know who fucks real good? Tortoises fuck real good. And just to... I, just to bring a little science into this, the lining of the male's cloaca folds out to form a penis, which he needs to insert into the male's clo into the female's cloaca, requiring the female's cooperation as she needs um, to extend her tail for male penile access. How hot does that sound? <laughs> By the way, side note, consent is built into the tortoise's slow boning? It requires female cooperation? Come on! I mean, okay. Thank you, I know. Okay, hashtag not all tortoises, whatever. Um, okay, so here's another, here's another argument. Uh, Enya versus death metal. <laughs> And what I love about this argument is that Enya is, is one artist and death metal is a genre, but that's fine. I'm comparing them anyways. Um, and this graph shows that, that, most, um, that most people prefer Enya to death metal. So that, and she's, for those of you who know that very current reference of Enya, um, she's like very low, slow and languorous musician um, whose, whose tunes can be heard in, in, in even more recent com car commercials. Um, okay, and then here's another, here's another argument. You know who's fast? Michael Phelps. Um, you know, you know what he needs? He needs a bunch of therapy from Talkspace. If being fast is so awesome, then why does he need so much therapy? Okay, and then, and this final... And this final um, graph here is, is it, it, this is how I'm, I'm, I'm ending my time with you. Um, uh, not on earth, this wasn't a suicide letter, so sorry. And that sounded confusing as I said it. Um, I, uh, you know, okay, so you know what's really slow? Um, and, the, and, and it's really slow and it is also the reason we are all here. That is, give, the ladies giving birth to babies. I had a 25 fucking hour delivery. Can we all agree that that's slow? Yeah, let's give a round of applause for me and my fucking uterus. All right. There's a, and the, the world is littered with stories of women who took way too fucking long to deliver a baby. But guess what? It wouldn't, it, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for these poor women who had to suffer through 25 hours. And yes, I ended up having to take ketamine, which is basically a club drug. Because the, uh. <laughs> because the, uh, the fucking other things wouldn't work anyways. I did go into a K-hole. We're not going to get into that right now. But my point is that slow and plodding and ridiculously painful experience led to life on earth. Hey, I feel like that closes the book on this argument. Thank you, and you're welcome.